Even though the, the, the content might be sad, they sound so beautiful, though. There really are a lot of uplifting tracks. And the album really does flow. Um, you know, you're one of those singers where it doesn't sound like you have to force yourself to belt out those notes. It all just comes so naturally. Um, for any, any uh, potential singers, aspiring singers in South Africa, what, would you say that vocal training is quite important or, or not really? Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not vocally trained, so um, I don't think you need to have it. I think, to be honest, I think the easiest way, and it's so much cheaper, <laughs> to learn how to sing is by listening to amazing singers. I, I taught myself how to sing by listening to Etta James and Ella Fitzgerald and Erica Badu and Roberta Flack, you know? Like, I listened to, listen to Etta James for the soulfulness. Mm. I listened to Etta James almost like my warm-ups, like, you know, her voice is so acrobatic. Um, and I listen to Roberta Flack for control. Like I think the best way is, you know, is, is to learn by listening to other like other singers who are amazing. And and then I think eventually, like you'll be able to find your own. Whereas when you're kind of, I think when you're actually having official lessons, you either end up sounding like you need to be in a play, or you end up being classically trained. And there's not really room for that. So if you want to be a pop star, I think you need to kind of teach yourself, really. Mm, definitely. Um, you still need to maintain your own kind of style as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Have you got big tours planned for this year? Um, yeah, well, I've got a four-day tour next week, um, just around the UK. And then, um, yeah, I'll be going a bit to Europe, and then I'll be coming back here, um, to, oh, sorry, to the UK, doing um, a bigger UK tour, and then um, heading to America. And I'd love, I've been to South Africa before, not to play, but I'd love to come out oh, and maybe do a gig. That'd be lovely. That was awesome. So how long ago were you here? I think about, about three years ago I went to George, oh. yeah, just outside of Cape Town. Yeah, mm-hmm. I worked for Orca Foundation for a couple of weeks with my dad. So, um, yeah, I love South Africa. Fantastic. All right, tell us about um, signing with an independent label as well. Well, I mean, I signed to XL, the first record label that were interested in me. And, um, and I'm very loyal to people that are kind of there from the early days. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, with XL, I didn't actually know who XL were. Um, and I was getting a, I was getting emails from them on MySpace, and I was kind of ignoring them because I didn't recognise the name. And then um, when I went, when I went to go and see them, their roster is incredible. You know, the White Stripe, Dizzy Russell, Peaches, Raconteurs, Prodigy, you know, names. all these people who are amazing. And and I just thought it was quite interesting how, like, because I am a pop act, you know, I'm not, I'm not one of these indie. No, don't get me wrong, White Stripes, I love them all amazing, and they're very huge, yeah. but they are indie artists, you know, mm-hmm. and um. I just I quite like the idea of being a, like a pop mainstream girl and signing to an indie cool up and coming like breaking record co- company. I mean, I thought that was quite a really nice good ju- juxtaposition. And um, and I think XL will will never sign anyone else like me. Like they never sign anyone else like the White Stripes because they're very proud and and kind of haven't they they're just very satisfied with the artists that they have. Whereas a major, I don't really think a major record label would have any problem signing someone else just like me if I'm assigned to them. Mm. So um, XL is amazing. Um, but yeah, it was all through MySpace. So I got to sign to them. Okay. But you don't want to be known as a MySpace artist, right? No, well, no. I mean, of course I don't. Um, also, but I'm not, I'm not a phenomenon on MySpace. I'm not like Lily Allen or Kate Nash or the other monkeys, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I have, I ha- well, now I have just over a million plays, but my album's about to come out. Like, before, when them lot had their albums coming out, they had about 10 million plays, <laughs> you know. So I'm not a phenomenon on MySpace, but I do owe my my record deal to MySpace very much, but I don't want to be a MySpace at no. Okay.